Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have a, another theatre vlog for you, however I'm actually not going to be in this one. So on Monday the 27th of February was the press night for the Rocky Horror Show at the Story House in Chester, however I already had tickets to go and see um, the National, National Lottery's Big Night of Musicals that night. So my brother-in-law Nathan went to the press night and he filmed a little vlog for you. So he's going to be in the vlog, uh, he shows you a little bit around the theatre, he recorded the curtain call for you and um, he gives a little, um, he talks about what he thinks of it. Um, so I thought I'd put this little uh, vlog up for you. I will also talk about the show at the end of the video. He did write a full um, blog post about the show so I will tell you a few bits that he wrote in his blog post and what he thought of it and I'll tell you my views on the show because I actually went to see it at the um, Manchester Opera House a week earlier. So I have seen it. I think my um, review video for that one is already up. But yeah, I thought I would just go over some things that he thought about the show and what I thought about it. I'll also show you some of my old Rocky Horror Show programs because I actually found a few from the 40th anniversary. So this show is its 50th anniversary. But I found my 40th anniversary program so I thought we'd have a little look at that uh, as well. So Nathan was, actually, was sat in the stalls for the show. I think he was on road E or F for the show who's only a few rows back um, and he had an excellent view I've seen his curtain call video and his view was excellent I'm so jealous because when I went to see it at the Opera House I was sat at the very back of the circle and I've actually never sat in the stalls for Rocky Horror I think I've always sat at the back so I would have loved to be sat where he sat for the Rocky Horror Show and yeah I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog Good evening as you can tell I am not Sarah I am a boy my name is Nathan and I've been in a few of Sarah's videos and I will be taking you through the performance of the Rocky Horror Show this evening at Chester Story House. Um, I will show you some videos of the theatre itself. If you've seen some of her, other, of her other videos, you will see that we've been here quite a few times. And welcome to Sarah's channel. Now as you can tell I am not Sarah, my name is Nathan and I have been in a few of her videos in the past and tonight she has trusted me to come to the uh, Chester Story House while she goes to watch the Big Night of Musicals at the AO Arena. So tonight we are watching the Rocky Horror Show um, so I'll show you a few clips of the theatre. As you know we've been here before, it's a wonderful beautiful theatre, it's a really nice venue. Um, we're currently very early because we thought the show started at half seven but little did we know, it does not. It starts at eight. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, show you some theatre clips and we'll talk to you later on.
We've just finished Rocky Horror Show and oh my god, what a show. It was crazy. It was uh, very, very music heavy, which was great. I love shows like that. Um, like I said in the interval, all the performers were wonderful. Um, like I said, gimmicky shows can sometimes rely on the gimmick rather than the talent, but that was not the case for this one. Um, it was very, very theatrical uh, is the best thing I can say very very campy um, definitely not family friendly um, and it was it, it was really really good I'd definitely give this a strong I'd say four out of five with this um, there are a few little bits that I noticed that I'll go through in my blog uh, post which you can find at westendwendy.co.uk um, but also uh, Sarah will put this video up as well so you can see it um, but overall, really, really good show. Recommend it if you can go. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Sarah, for having me this this week on your videos. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Hi, so I thought I'd now just discuss a bit about the show. Uh, Nathan has written his um, full blog post on the show. And I just thought I'd mention some of the points that he made in his blog post. I'll also link his blog post down below in case you want to read his full review. First of all, if you have never seen the Rocky Horror Show before, um, which I find it hard to believe, it's been going for 50 years. It's his 50th anniversary tour. And yeah, and most people I think have seen the show or have at least seen the film, which is a cult, cult classic. Um, so I think most people do know the story, but there are some people out there that don't. So I thought I'd just quickly go over the story very, very briefly for you. So the story starts with Brad and Janet, who are a young American couple, I think the post um, from the 1950s. And they are, they have just been to a friend's wedding and are heading home. Or I think they're ahead, supposed to be heading to see their old science teacher. I can't remember why they were heading to see the science teacher but they're on the way to see him and their car breaks down um, so they end up um, getting out of the car and they stumble across a castle um, or a large mansion house um, and they, f they decide to go and ask if they can use the phone there um, once they get inside they meet Frank Inverter who is a transvestite scientist um, who is currently working on creating the perfect man um, and he shows Brad and Janet his creation which is a mus very muscular man named Rocky um, also whilst with Frank and Verta they meet a bunch of crazy characters they meet Columbia, Magenta, Riff Raff and Eddie and they are a bunch of crazy characters that hang around with Frank and Verta um, so that is basically the base, very basis of the story. It's quite a simple story, um, but the reason this show is so good is the audience participation. Um, they have a narrator who tells the story and he will say funny bits and the audience will say things to him and then he will improvise stuff back. And it's a great fun part of the, of the story. Um, and that is one of the things that everyone loves about the Rocky Horror Show. Also, like I said, this is a cult classic, so a lot of people go dressed up. Um, I've actually been to Rocky Horror Show dressed up before. My husband's been a few times, and he's dressed up. It's just all the part of fun of the show. And according to Nathan, there was lots of people dressed up there at the story house on um, press night. So in Nathan's review, he mentioned that he really loved the over-the-top comic book style set. At the beginning, there is like a... Brad and Janet's car, which looks very cartoon-like and uh, storybook, bookish, and I think he, he enjoyed that sort of aspect of it. He also liked that a lot of the set was double-sided, um, so they could they could easily flip it round to quickly create a new scene in just seconds. So he liked that aspect of the set design. He also liked the clever way that they used the lighting to reduce blackout time and scene changes. And the way they did this was they had a row of lights on the front of the stage. So they would spin round and shine on the audience, causing like a blinding effect while they would change uh, the scene round. Um, and then once the lights turned back around, the scene would then be set. So he also mentioned how good the cast were in this show. Um, he was really impressed with all the cast. Um, he mentions that sometimes gimmicky shows like this rely more on the gimmick and um, 
don't focus um, on the great casting um whereas this what this show has great casting the casting this are amazing but the cast in this have been working together for a long time i saw this show in august 2021 and the majority of the cast is still the same so they've been working together for quite a few years on the show um and i think the show hasn't really changed very much since 2021 when i saw it um obviously i didn't see the at the story house but i did see it the week before at the opera house so it's the exact same show um and from that it hadn't changed very much from the 2021 production i actually think it's the exact same production they just had a few cast changes um the set was all the same uh the choreography all seemed the same from 2021 so i couldn't really notice much of a difference there might have been a little bit of difference maybe but i didn't notice it it pretty much seemed like the exact same production from 2021. So one of the standout cast members for Nathan, he mentions Susie McAdam. She plays Magenta and also Usher at the beginning. Um, so she sings the science fiction double feature at the beginning of the show. And he really enjoyed her voice on that song. He thought she was really, really good. And she did have an excellent voice. I also agree with him. I um, thought she was very good as well. And then he also mentions Simon's Webb as Frank and Furter, how he was excellent in the role. And I agree, he's definitely um, one of the best Frank and Furters I've seen. I've seen quite a lot of Frank and Furters. Like I said, I've seen the show many times and he is one of the best. And the other, other one that stood out for me that I've seen is David Bedella. I thought he was really good as Frank and Furter when I saw him. But I would say Stephen Webb is just as good. And like I said, he also played the part back in 2021 when I saw the show um, in August 2021. So I think I mentioned that this show is supposed to be its 50th anniversary um, tour. Um, however, like I said, they haven't really changed anything um, since the 2021 tour. But um, yeah, it's its 50th anniversary. And I just happened to be looking through my programmes and I found my 40th anniversary programme. So yeah, I also went to the 40th anniversary um, show as well. Um, so I might show you that a bit, a bit later. But I thought I'd just show you a programme. Now, I don't have the programme from the Story House because Nathan had it. Um, but I think it's probably going to be pretty much the same as the one that I got from um, the Opera House, Manchester Opera House. So it's got the exact same cast, so I thought I could show you the cast in this because it is the exact same. And then I also found my programme, oh actually I showed you the wrong programme, that was a 2021 programme. This is the one um, from when I went to see it at the Opera House uh, last week. This one is from when I went to see it in August 2021. As you can see, they look exactly identical. They're, they are practically exactly identical. Um, there's only a few things different in. So I'm actually going to show you them and show you um, how exactly the same it is. So yeah, we'll go through this now and I'll show you the cast. Okay, so these are my two programmes. So I'll put the newest one on this side and then this was 2021's one. So just so we can see how similar they are. So the bit about the Opera House is exactly the same, more or less. Obviously it says what shows are coming up. Um, then so obviously that, that's a bit different this is the exact same in each program about the opera house obviously the story house one will have been different it won't have had the opera house information in it then they both have adverts in <clears throat> and then they both have this page obviously the names of the cast will be slightly different so this is the one from uh, this year and then this is the one from 2021 and the basically all that's in these is the cast lists and um, there's no articles in here no pictures or anything it's basically just the cast list and the cast biographies so obviously this this is the cast for this year so we have Simon Webb as Frankenfurter, and as you can see, he was also 
before I convert it back in 2021. Then we had um, Plain Brad Richard Meek. Um, he was really good. Um, but last time, 2021, we had Ori Aduba playing Brad. Playing Janet, we have Hayley uh, Flarty. And again, back in 2021, she also played Janet. And I think Janet has, she's played Janet a few times because I have my programs here from uh, 2010 and 2013. And I'm sure she plays Janet in one of these as well. So I think she's been playing Janet for quite a while. So then we had Philip, Philip Franks as the narrator. And again, he was also the narrator back in 2021. We had Joe Allen as uh, Eddie and Dr. Scott. And again, he also played um, the same part in 2021. Columbia for this production is Darcy Finden. Whereas Columbia in 2021 was Lauren Ingram. Then playing Riff Raff, we had Christian, Le Christian Lavercombe. Now he's played Riff Raff for many, many years. Um, and obviously he also played it back in 2021. Um, we had Susie McAdam as the Usherette and Magenta. And again, she also played uh, back in 2021. Rocky this year was Ben Westfield. And in 21, he also played Rocky. And then we have the Phantoms. Um, so I think some of the Phantoms are the same. So Reese Budin, he also played the Phantom back in 2021. Jessica Soul. Um, she did. She is new to play the Phantom. Fiona O'Carroll. He is new to play the Phantom. Zafani so Dutoit. She also played a Phantom back in 2021. Then you have Tyler D. Nerdin as a swing and Nathan Shaw as a swing. And they are both new swings. And that is basically your programme. So here's your cast list. This is this year's programme cast list. Understudies, your band and your creatives. And that is basically all that's in this. It's just then got your creative team and that is it. So there's not a lot in the program, just other than the cast list and the cast biographies. So those were pretty much the same. And I thought I'd just have you show you a quick look at these ones because these ones have got nice pictures in. Um, obviously these are not from this production, they're from previous. So this one is from the 2013 production. This was its 30, 40th anniversary tour. Um, so we'll have a quick look through this because it's always nice to see some um, pictures from the show in case you've never seen the show before. There's lots of nice pictures in here. It does have the cast list because I can't remember who the cast was. Um, but I will show you the cast list in a second. I have a feeling that um, Philip Franks was also the narrator, either this in this year or in 2010 when I went to see it. Um, I've seen him a few times as the narrator. Let's go to the cast list now. 
There's some um, artwork, some concept artwork. So we've got Magenta, Brad, Janet, Riff Raff, and the narrator. So this is the cast list for the 2013 uh, production. So the usherette was Abigail J. Janet was Roxanne Pallet and Danny Hamer. Brad was Ben Foster and Sam Atwater. The narrator was Philip Frank, so the same narrator that I saw in uh, 2021 and 2023. He was still the narrator back then. Riff Raff was Christian Labercombe. Again, the same person who's played Riff Raff in 2021 and 2023. So he was still playing Riff Raff back in uh, 2013. Magenta, Abigail J, Columbia, Cherish Hine, Frank and Furter was Oliver Thornton, Rocky was Ridian, Eddie was Joel Montague, Dr. Scott, Joel Montague, and then you had your Phantom. So there's just a few people who were the same in this. And then I also have my 2010 um Program, so I thought we'd have a quick little look through this, look at the pictures and see what the set and cast were like back then. So this was when David Bedella played um, Frankenfurter and I think he's one of my favourite Frankenfurters. So it's just got a little comic strip in here called Rocky Road, The Amazing Story. And then it has um, a timeline of the Rocky Horror Show. So it's starting out in 1973 and then ends on 2010, which was when this production took place. So let's do the time warp. It's showing you the dance for the time warp. The Rocky Virgin Kit. You can dress your uh, Rocky up. And then you have some photos from the production. And then, oh. and then this is your cast list here. So playing the usherette was Cara Lane. Janet was Haley Flarty, so she's actually the same Janet that was in this current production. So she also played Janet back in 2010, so she's been playing Janet for a while. And as also, she also played Janet in 2021 as well. Brad was Mark Evans, Riff Raff was Brian McCann, Magenta was Cara Lane, Columbia was Keris Hine. Frank and Verto was David Bedella, Rocky was Dominic Tribuzio, Eddie was Nathan Amsey, and, the, and then those were your phantoms there, so, yep. So, I think it shows there's quite a few different narrators for this show. I can't remember who we had, I've got a feeling we might have had Ainsley Harriet. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I've seen Ainsley as a narrator. So I think we might have had Ainsley Harriet, but yeah, there's a few people doing narrator. So there's Ainsley Harriet for some performances. Um, there was Steve Pemberton, Dave Spikey, Michael Stark. Actually, it might, it might have been Michael Stark. I've definitely seen him as narrator before as well. And then that is that program, so there we go. That is the 2010 program. So there we go, I hope you've enjoyed looking at my uh, Rocky Horror programs. I've really enjoyed looking back and seeing um, what cast I've seen 
uh, in the different productions. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. So the Rocky Horror Show is on at the Story House in Chester till the 4th of March. So if you'd like to see it, do get your tickets. It is a great show. Um, like I said, I saw it in uh, in Manchester, at Manchester Opera House. And Nathan really raved about it at um, the Story House because he had never seen the show before. And he said he would definitely go back to see it again after seeing the show. Um, so yeah, if you live locally and you can get to Chester, get yourself a ticket because you'll have a great time. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you do enjoy theatre vlogs, I do many theatre vlogs. I try to go to the theatre at least once a month. I have been going a lot more than that recently. Um, and I always do a theatre vlog every time I go. Um, sometimes Nathan is with me, sometimes my husband's with me, and sometimes I go by myself. So yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little vlog if you have do leave it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye